Hello Capricorns, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and in this video I will be doing your Capricorn Tarot reading for August 2019. This reading will give you some guidance and messages for the month ahead. I'll be using the Oracle of the Ancient Celts deck and also the Celtic Tarot by Christopher Hughes. Before we begin your reading, can I ask if you enjoy it then please let me know in the comments and please like and share the video and also please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. I do do pick a card readings weekly and I am on live chat on YouTube on a Thursday evening so please join me. It'd be lovely to see you there. Capricorns, the card that I've pulled for your overall energy this month is the Green Man. Well, the Green Man is evergreen, meaning he shines all year long. Let's see if you can see that. There is not a time when he is more prominent. His measure this month is that you too will shine no matter what. This is the card of plenty, the card of abundance. And I feel a spiritual awakening for many of you this month. And knowing that this is where you should be, right here, right now. A feeling of contentment. You will know you've made the right choices and this is the right pathway for you to follow for your soul's growth. Enjoy all that is coming your way this month. Are you happy with all that you have? It's a lovely card. Okay, so let's see what advice the tarot can give as well. Okay. Okay, the card that's on the bottom of the deck is the Three of Cauldrons. Cauldrons in this particular deck are the cups. So this is celebration all around. This is celebrating with your friends, with family. You will have something to be happy about. What a beautiful card. Okay, so let's see what's going on around you right here and now. And we have the Four of Shields reversed. This is Pentacles in other decks. This card is about stability, security, and holding on to something. Um, and this is what I feel really deeply for you this month, is that you don't need to hold on to anything. Because you are going to shine no matter what. So it's almost a letting, letting it go a little bit. Not having any insecurities. Not having any fears or worries. So let's see what's stopping you moving forward. And we have Six of Wands. Six of Wands is a celebration card. It's an achievement card. Now, I sense this could well be a fire sign that's around you, that's stopping you moving forward. Or, otherwise it's your own inner self. You've got the dragon energy here, and it's movement. It's moving forward. You 
you're going to shine no matter what. And I feel that everybody's going to be celebrating with you. Okay, so let's see what's led up to now. And we have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords has come out a lot in the readings this month. It's a new beginning. It's a gift from the spirit world. But it's a gift of knowledge, new thoughts, new beliefs, new information. So it's almost that you've been given this gift and you're feeling differently. You're thinking differently about a situation. Something has changed. Okay. And this card has come out as well. Considering the, the cards all get shuffled um, and cleansed between each rich reading, this, the, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cauldrons have come up in several of the readings this, this month. There's lots of connections between the signs. Well, this is the gift of love. So this is the gift of love from the spirit world and it's the gift of a new relationship. It's the gift of a new life. It's a gift of love, no matter what. Okay. And in your higher self, totally different colorway. We have the father figure, number four, which is the emperor in other decks. When this card lands in this position, I always sense that you're being guided by spirit. So this is either a father or a grandfather figure on your father's side. This is male energy that is guiding you going forward. The four here of pentacles, the same qualities are what is on offer from the father figure. The authority, the strength, the stability, the security, all those kinds of words, you can get them from the spirit world. They will share that with you. They will give you those gifts. Okay, so here and now. And we have reversed the page of pentacles. So there's your new idea. There's your new project, your new job. Something new is there. And it's almost as though it's waiting It's almost that feeling of being content as well. And you will know that you have made the right choices, especially with the Ace of Swords here. So know that you're being guided to make the right choices as well. Again, I feel that there is a lot of happiness around you this month, and this is going to knock on on other people as well. It's almost as you're going to be giving them that gift, that gift of happiness. Okay, so what do you need to do next? And we have the Four of Swords. So this is about taking some peace and quiet, taking some time out, just having a rest. And... I feel that when we was reading the first card, knowing this is where you are supposed to be. And this is where you just got to step back and relax. You've got three fours here. You've got the four, the four, and the four here. This is very much a time of balance, of contemplation, of knowing that you are on the right pathway as well. So let's see how others see you. And we have the ace of wands so you've got the power of three this month so this is in your outer world so this could well be a fire sign that's around you um again here this could well be an airy sign or if not one of the other fire signs but the three we've got the um wands which is fire the cups which is water and we've got the air element. So we've got all three elements there for you for this month. You should be really content with the gifts that you're being given from spirit. 
it's really going to uplift you as you go through the month. Okay, in your fears position, we have the eight of shields. So I think money could well be an issue with you. Money could be a reason for you not making certain choices. Know that money is energy and that we always have to have an exchange of energy for it to work on a universal level of we attract what we think about. So if we think that we're never going to have enough money to, to do this or do that, naturally the universe will give us that sort of situation. This is kind of setting the intentions of allowing yourself to work hard for the money that you receive. This isn't about being a gift. This is about you exchanging your energy for that purpose. Okay, and your final outcome for August is... It is reversed, but it is the death card, number 13, and it is the card of transformation, the card of new beginnings. You've got new beginnings in four of the cards, but you've got new beginnings alongside the green man, so that evergreen that's always there. So enjoy what's coming your way this month. Know that there is something that you have yet to do that you need to achieve. So are you happy with all that you've achieved so far? This is a, a month of abundance. So enjoy everything that is coming your way. I hope you all have a fantastic August. If the reading does resonate with you anywhere, please comment and please like and share the video. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bar and you'll be notified when I'll be on live chat and doing personal one card readings for you. So please join me. Bless you all for watching. I hope you all have a lovely August.